Okay, here we want to add 2 fifths plus 1 sixth. And we've already talked about why you need a common denominator in order to add. Now we're going to talk about how, how do we get a common denominator. One way is to find a least common multiple of 5 and 6. Or I should say the least common multiple of 5 and 6. So what does that mean and how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is make a list of multiples of 5 and multiples of 6. So 5 times 1, that's 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Times 3 is 15. Times 4 is 20. Times 5 is 25. Times 6 is 30. Times 7 is 35. Times 8 is 40. And maybe I'll stop there. So these are the first 8 multiples of 5. Now we'll do some multiples of 6. 6 times 1 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 3 is 18, times 4 is 24, times 5 is 30. And hey, we can stop because now we have a common multiple, meaning these multiples are the same. And not only that, but this is the least common multiple because if we look at this list, it's the smallest number that's the same in both lists. In fact, right now it's the only number that's the same. Okay, so that means we want our denominator to be 30. So what we've done so far is we looked for, we looked for an LCD, a least common multiple, or LCM, a least common multiple, and that's going to be our new denominator. So we want 30 to be our new denominator. Denominator. Okay, well over here we did 5 times what? Well, it was 5 times 6 was equal to 30. Here, it was what? It was 6 times 5, the same two numbers. Okay, how does that relate to our original problem? Well, that means to get the denominator to be 30, we need to multiply by 6. 6 times 5, that was 30. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 6, because that will change things. So we multiply by 6 over 6, and we've already talked about how that's really the same thing as multiplying by 1, and it doesn't change the fraction. So we're not changing the fraction, we're just changing the way it looks. Okay, and now we come over to this side, and we need 30 in the denominator, so we're going to multiply by 5 in the denominator. And of course, for the same reason, we have to multiply by 5 over 5, which is the same thing as 1, so we don't change our fraction. Okay, so let me erase this common multiple stuff and just continue with the problem. Okay, so we do this multiplication. What does this come out to be? 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 1 times 5 is 5. And 6 times 5 is 30. Now we have our common denominator and we can add. If we have 12 out of 30 pieces plus 5 out of 30 pieces, this should be 17 out of 30 pieces. So when we're adding, again, we just add the numerators as long as we have that common denominator. Okay, so this is how we, how we uh, find the common denominator by first finding the least common multiple of the denominators. Okay, let's do another example in the next video. See you then.